Hi, this is Tony Guerra, uh, Farm D, and I'm going to be singing one of the mnemonic songs from Drug Names Decoded. Okay, so this is Cardio de Joy. It's sung to Beethoven's Ode de Joy. Uh, you'll notice there's 15 beats in the first four lines, and you can just use that kind of uh, rhythm uh, to uh, make up your own song with the drugs and things like that to help you remember things. Uh, but here it goes. O-L-O-L-P-R-I-L-N-S-A-R-T-A-N Beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, and ARBs with suffix end. Aspirin and clopidogrel, both block platelets round a stent. Warfarin and heparin are both anticoagulants. Statins lower cholesterol, Dig keeps your heart from failing. Parapamil and amlodipine both block calcium channels. Okay, and here is a little bit more of an explanation for uh, how the song goes. So in the first line, it's O-L-O-L, P-R-I-L, and S-A-R-T-A-N. And those are the suffixes for beta blockers, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors or ACE inhibitors, and ARBs, angiotensin receptor blockers. And it's important that you put things like this together. The ACEs and ARBs are very similar. If you go to an ACE, patient has a cough, you should go to an ARB. And it works really well to remember things when you match them up like that. The next lines are about aspirin, clopidogrel, warfarin, and heparin. And aspirin can be Ecotrin, that's a brand name, enteric-coated uh, aspirin. And then Plavix is the brand name for clopidogrel. But what's important is that you're putting together the two antiplatelets, and you're separating those two from the two anticoagulants. And those mechanisms of action are a little bit different, but important that we know the difference. The next group are, is the statin line, uh, statins lower cholesterol, but we want to be careful with that because statin as a suffix isn't enough. It has to be vastatin, V-A-S-T-A-T-I-N, so a torvastatin, which is Lipitor, lovastatin, which is Mevacor, and simvastatin, which is Zocor. All three of these are statins, but statin alone is a suffix, for example, in nystatin, which is mycostatin, is an antifungal. Okay, so sometimes uh, the length of the uh, suffix needs to be extended. Uh, the next line with dig, uh, digoxin is lunoxin, and it's a positive inotrope. That means it strengthens uh, the force of cardiac contraction. And those last two lines, uh, the calcium channel blockers, it's important to separate the verapamil and diltiazem, uh, which do have effects on the heart, versus amlodipine and nifedipine, uh, which do not. So if you were to be asked, now, which calcium channel blocker might you use for uh, someone who wants to stop uh, premature uterine contractions? Well, my wife was on nifedipine uh, because it doesn't affect the heart directly. So her heart, as well as the fetal hearts, uh, were safe.